cooking up bugs, mealworms, into a tasty, healthful, meat-like seasoning. This is by American Chemical Society on fizz.org. Uh, I'm not kidding. They're now giving us recipes for bugs. Now, I used to take uh, egg tempera icon painting lessons, and we asked our teacher, what kind of varnish did they put on the old Byzantine icons to uh, protect them? You know, because when you use egg tempera, the insects are going to come and start biting the paint off. And she said they used beetle, uh, the inside of the beetle, you know, which is a, a jelly type of a juice type of thing. She says that that's what they used for varnish on the icons, which is, of course, a deterrent to insects to come and eat the, the egg tempera paint. So you can imagine what kind of chemicals some of these bugs have in them. But anyway, going back to this, cooking up mealworms into a tasty, healthful, meat-like seasoning. I don't like doing this, but I'm going to do it so that you can see what they're coming up with. This is by the American Chemical Society. Beetle larvae, such as mealworms. So this is beetles. Mealworms are from beetles. This is what they use to make the varnish over the uh, egg tempera icons of the uh, Renaissance and uh, Byzantine era. Beetle larvae such as mealworms are often considered to be creepy, crawly nuisances, but these inse insects are edible and could be a helpful alternative to traditional meat protein sources. Today, researchers report that they've cooked up mealworms with sugar, created a meat-like flavoring. It could someday be used in convenience foods as a tasty source of extra protein. Would you eat it? I wouldn't eat it. But let's go on with this. The researchers will present the results today at the fall meeting of the American Chemical Society, ACS. Recently, eating insects has become of interest because of the increased cost of animal protein, as well as the associated environmental issues, says in he Cho, PhD, the project's principal investigator. He's Asian, obviously. The global population is expected to reach 9.7 billion people in 2050 and nearly 11 billion by 2100, according to the United Nations. And feeding them all will, with animal meat, especially cows, pigs, and sheep, will require larger amounts of food, water, and land resources. In addition, cows are a substantial contributor to climate change releasing copious amounts of methane into their burps, so more sustainable sources of protein are needed, he says. Cho, uh, whose team is at a Wang Kang University of South Korea, says, insects are a nutritious, healthy food source with high amounts of fatty acids, vitamins, minerals, fiber, and high-quality protein, which is like that of meat. But mealworms suffer from an image problem, she says, in many parts of the world, eating insects is not common, and people can be squeamish about munching on them, although some companies are trying to change people's minds by selling cooked whole mealworms as crunchy, salty snacks. Consumer acceptance is not widespread. Joe says that to get more people to regularly eat mealworms, a sneakier approach might be in order. Hiding insects in the form of seasonings inside easy to cook and other convenience products. Well, why don't you just keep that to yourselves in South Korea? I, I can't believe this. They're going to sneak this into our diets. The research team's first step was to understand this insect's flavor profile. They compared mealworms aromas throughout its life cycle from egg to larva to pupa to adult. While there were some differences in the individual compounds, all of the stages primarily contained volatile hydrocarbons, which evaporate and give off scents. For example, raw larvae larva had wet soil-like, shrimp-like, and sweet corn-like aromas. The then Hoju Seo, a graduate student on Cho's team, compared the flavors that developed as larvae were cooked with different methods. Steamed mealworms developed even stronger sweet corn-like aromas, whereas a roasted and deep-fried versions had shrimp-like and fried oil-like attributes. According to Seo, the flavor compounds from roasting and frying included 
pyrazines, alcohols, and aldehydes, and were similar to the compounds formed when meat and seafood are cooked. Based on these results, the team expected that additional reaction flavors could be produced from the protein-rich rich mealworms if they were heated with sugar. Reaction flavors, sometimes called process flavors, are produced when proteins and sugars are heated together and interact, for instance, through Maillard, Strecker, and caramelization, caramelization reactions and fatty acid oxidation, says Cho. The result is usually a, su a suit of meat-like and savory flavors. Yeah, what are you going to do? Pump yourself with sugar to eat these things? God forbid. Hey Young Park, a graduate student in Cho's lab and their presenter at the meeting, tested different manufacturing conditions and ratios of powdered mealworm and sugars, producing multiple versions of reaction flavors. She identified a total of 98 volatile compounds in the samples. The team then took the samples to a panel of volunteers to provide feedback about which had the most favorable meat-like odor. And as a result of the study, 10 of the reaction flavors were optimized based on consumer preferences park. Notice up to now, they only say that they've smelled them. They didn't say that anyone has tasted them. They haven't even tasted them, they said here. To the best of the researcher's knowledge, this is the first time that mealworms have been used to produce desirable reaction flavors. They hope that these results will contribute to the commercial development of meat-like and savory flavorings and seasonings and will encourage the convenience food industry to include edible insects in their products, says Cho. The team's next step is to further optimize cooking processes to reduce any potentially undesirable or off flavors in the final flavoring material made from the mealworms. This is by American Chemical Society on FIS.org. Notice they only gave the people uh, uh, the direction of the, the uh, order to smell the flavor, you know, to smell them, okay? The scent, to smell the scent. Nobody says that they tasted them. <laughs> no. Nobody says that they had a taste of them to see what they tasted like. Anyway, this is absurd, what we're coming to in this day and age. Absurd. Um, anyway, give me your uh, comments on this. This is on fist.org. I'll leave a link below for you. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.